This is Oshin from Open Market. Welcome to this video on the broadcast feature in our mobile engagement platform. Broadcasts are an easy way of sending one message to many people. In this video, I'll show you how to broadcast a message and explain some features you might like to use. This is the broadcast homepage in MEP. These here are previous broadcasts I've created. To create a new broadcast, click here. Next, I need to choose the type of message I'm sending. MEP supports many types of broadcast. Depending on your own account, you may only see a few of these options. I'll choose Send SMS. This is the page where we create the broadcast. Let's add a name and then enter the message. I'll just mention now that you can customize a broadcast for each person in a way that is similar to mail merging. You can add any detail like their name, a date, a PIN number, almost any value. Your account manager can tell you more about this feature. Next, I'll choose who this message goes to. There are three ways to do this. I can choose a mailing list, which is an existing list of end users. Or I can manually add a list of mobile numbers. Here. Lastly, I can upload an Excel or CSV file with numbers already in the list. I'm going to send this broadcast to an existing mailing list. Mailing lists are created in the Subscriptions tab and they're organized into subscription collections for easier management. So, I'll choose the subscription collection and then the mailing list I want. I'll choose a couple. These guys have already signed up to hear exciting news about MEP. If the same end user is in both subscriptions, then MEP will only send one message to the user. Finally, I'll choose when I want to start broadcasting the message. If I wanted to schedule it for the future, like New Year's Eve, I'd change the broadcast date and time, like so. However, I'll send this message immediately. So to send the message, I just click on the send button below, then OK to confirm that I want the messages sent now. And MEP is now sending the messages. So you'll see that we're back in the home page for broadcasts. And this is the broadcast we just created. The messages are sending right now. We can see how it's going by clicking on its name. Here is a summary, and here is where we can see the results. MEP is very quick at sending out and responding to messages, so it will only take a few moments to complete a broadcast. If you want, you can then add or remove end users from a mailing list based on whether the message reached their mobile number. Next, I'll show you how to cancel a broadcast, edit a scheduled broadcast, and reuse a broadcast as a template. On the broadcast's homepage, you can see a few of the broadcasts I've created. This one has already been sent, while these ones here are scheduled to go out in the future. To cancel this broadcast, I just need to click the red cross. If the broadcast is already underway, this stops any remaining messages being sent. To edit a scheduled broadcast, just click on the edit button here, and then edit broadcast. While you're in the edit screen, the broadcast is put on hold so that you can make last minute changes without worrying about this broadcast starting. Then just click save changes when you're ready. You must save your broadcast for it to be sent out. And lastly, if you want to reuse the same details for another broadcast, click here. Everything is exactly the same. Of course, you can edit all these details now. So, that's the basics of broadcasting in MEP. Now for a quick look at a couple of extra features. MEP is incredibly quick at sending broadcasts, but sometimes you might need the messages spread out over more time. This is especially useful if you have staff that will need to respond to a call to action message. All you need to do is set an end time here. MEP spreads the messages evenly between the start time and the end time. One last cool feature I'll mention is response routing. This will route any replies to the broadcast into a MEP service without using a keyword. It's great for engaging with your users in a more natural conversation, whether you're gathering user feedback or promoting an exclusive time-limited offer. 
So that's the basics of broadcasting in MEP. Thanks for watching. I hope that you found this video useful and please check out our other videos.